today we will do uh, detection of element and organic compound. So organic compound, organic compound is consist of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, sulfur, halogen. In halogen, X is your chlorine, bromine or iodine and uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus is not mentioned in your syllabus for uh, detection. Remaining are there. So, you will have to study in this topic uh, uh, to detect Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and halogen in the given organic compound that these elements are present. So we will do detection, detection of elements in organic compounds. This is also called qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis. So first we will see the detection of carbon and hydrogen. This together we can do for carbon and Hydrogen. So for this what is done, a hard glass test tube is taken, this is your hard glass test tube that should be perfectly dry, no water should be there in it and in this we will take mixture of organic compound and cupric oxide, CuO is a cupric oxide. This cupric oxide should be pure and dry, should not have any impurity in it. And we will take these two in 1 is to 3 ratio, weight wise, according to the weight, 1 is to 3. If this is 1 gram, this will be 3 grams. And then we will fit into this with the help of the cord a passing tube. A passing tube with the help of the cord. And this passing tube is having a bulb attached to it. This bulb. This bulb is packed with anhydrous copper sulfate. Anhydrous copper sulfate. And this end of the tube is uh, introduced in another test tube dipped that test tube is containing lime water. I hope you must have guessed something. And this is heated. This is heated. So when we heat organic compound with copper oxide, then carbon present in the organic compound combines with cupric oxide. And it is turned into carbon dioxide and uh, copper is set free. This copper oxide is black in color. Organic compound is mixed to it and when heated, this colorless gas passes out from here. And uh, you will see after some time, black color copper oxide is turned into reddish brown copper and meanwhile what will be there 
that is you will see that uh, this is turning then hydroscopic sulfate is white in color so when you started you packed it was white in color colorless and when you heat it <coughs> colorless vapors when passed through it then you saw it has started turning into blue you know that this is a test for water it means water is formed so it means hydrogen from the earthly compound is also combining with cupric oxide and the forming water vapor and so carbon dioxide is turned will be passed across will come into the lime water you will see lime water will be turned milky the water vapor which will be formed will be going across this and it will be turning and hydroscopic sulfate from color test to blue and that will be the indication that organic compound taken here contains carbon and hydrogen as a element so this is detection of carbon and hydrogen now detection of oxygen detection of oxygen is not very easy and uh, the process is not very much uh, uh, so dependable or so perfect so there is no uh, definite uh, method to find out oxygen but still that is one test is done and that is water for detection of oxygen that uh, organic compound is heated in the atmosphere of nitrogen and when uh, this is heated in the atmosphere of nitrogen droplets of water are seen then it is believed that uh, it contains oxygen now detection of uh, uh, your uh, nitrogen sulfur and uh, halogen for this in your there are different method in your syllabus a test is mentioned that is lesagnes lesagnes test that is soda extract test this is a test now this is soda extract test now how this is done a small piece of sodium you know sodium is a soft metal can be cut with the help of knife so small piece of sodium is cut sodium is always preserved under kerosene oil so sodium piece is cut under the kerosene oil that piece is picked up with the help of a forceps and is rolled over a filter paper so when we roll it over the filter paper it absorbs all extra kerosene and it is dried from kerosene so that small piece of sodium is taken in a very small uh, tube that is called ignition tube it is looking like your test tube but it is called ignition tube hardly my one this finger long my very narrow narrower than my finger and in this the sodium piece is taken here so uh, for you can see it i draw it bigger but it is not a big tube okay so this is small piece of sodium is taken and heat it carefully on the <coughs> flame <coughs> before it started heating Uh, we will take a beaker in this we will take some distilled water this will keep ready and this is heated and when it is a uh, little change to the fuse it is getting fuse then we are adding on this putting some organic compound we are covering it with organic compound and then we are again heating it strongly the whole this tube from here this becomes red everything we have to take precaution if we don't do it precautionary then sodium may shoot out without reacting so it uh, precaution we have to take 
uh, gradually we heat it so when this become red hot then we take this tube and plunge into it we throw that test tube into it and we uh, so this test tube is of glass uh, this ignition tube which is so this will this tube will drop here and will be cracked and we smash it with the help of a grass rod so hold this chemical is out in distilled water and now we heat it so that solution which we have we are filtering it and uh, when we filter it uh, uh, in a beaker so all that uh, unwanted thing will be up the liquid which is here that is called a sagne solution or a soda extract so the soda extract which is formed the soda extract in this what is happening uh, we have soda action sodium carbon from the organic compound and nitrogen from the organic compound combine together and give mac and sodium cyanide then another reaction that is taking place if we have a with sodium we are heating if carbon we will be having along with nitrogen sulfur is also there then the compound formed in the sagne solution will be sodium sulfocyanide this is sodium cyanide this is sodium sulfocyanide so this lysagne solution only nitrogen contains as sodium cyanide lysagne solution contains nitrogen and sulfur as sodium sulfocyanide and uh, if there is only sulfur okay then combining then uh, it may form na2s sodium sulfide sodium sulfide then uh, if we have a halogen then it will combine and give a nax sodium halide nacl nabr or na i so these reactions you remember so first i will uh, show you the text test for uh, nitrogen detection of uh, nitrogen from lesagne solution lesagne test other tests are also given in the book but that is not in the syllabus so test detection of nitrogen when it is containing n a c n how we do we take a lesagne solution or soda extract a portion of it uh, it is in the beaker we take few drops and uh, in this we add a ferrous sulfate solution uh concentrated solution and fresh freshly prepared we add and we add some sodium hydroxide solution also so as soon as we add a ferrous sulfate and sodium hydroxide we get a dirty green ppt when we obtain dirty green ppt to this we add a ferric chloride solution in excess and we see that a, a prussian blue solution is a, obtained prussian blue solution this is r okay or a prussian blue ppt is a optimal 
So this is the test. Now see the reaction. Ferrous sulfate combines with the sodium hydroxide and gives to you FeOH twice plus Na2SO4. This FeOH twice, this is your green PPT which we obtain here. Now your this are green PPT which is obtained actually has reacted with sodium cyanide which was present in the soda extract and given to you sodium ferro cyanide. Na4 FeCN6 and uh, NaOH. CN6, if I take this uh, 6, so 4 here, this will be 2. OH is balanced. Fe1, Fe1, it is balanced the equation. This is Sodium ferrocyanide. Now, this sodium ferrocyanide, which is formed, this is in dirty precipitate. And FeCN, this is a complex compound. This is made to react with the FeCl3 solution. Here. And we obtain Fe4 FeCN6 and NaCl. This is ferric ferro cyanide. Old thrice, well, like ferric valency is 3, so old thrice. And ferrocyanide valency is 4. And this is Prussian blue. So we will balance it. 3 and sodium. So if I take it, 3, 4 are 12, 4, 3 are 12. So here. 12 NaCl. Sodium balance, chlorine balance, 4 Fe, and this is balance equation. So we have got uh, the stress for uh, nitrogen when it contains NaCn. Now, again, detection of nitrogen when it contains NaCNS, sodium sulfocyanide or thiocyanide, sulfocyanide. When it contains sodium sulfocyanide, sodium sulfocyanide in the Lysagnin solution, so Lysagnin solution is taken and in this, Ferric chloride solution is added. Another part from the beaker uh, containing a sagni solution uh, we will take and uh, in that we will add ferric chloride solution. So we will obtain, if I write this here, FeCNS thrice plus 3 NaCl ferric sulfocyanide this is a blood red color blood red color no PPT color solution blood red 
color. So this is the test for uh, nitrogen along with sulfur if it is present in the organic compound. Now detection of sulfur it's not in combination with nitrogen sulfur then uh, your soda extract which you have will take another portion from the beaker of soda extract and uh, that is containing as you have seen sodium sulfide that is mixed with uh, sodium nitro Nitroproside. Nit this is sodium nitroproside solution. So to the soda extract, we are adding sodium nitroproside. And we obtain sodium Na4 Fe Cn5 NOS. This is called sodium sulfo nitroproside. And uh, this is of violet color not ppt violet color so this is the test for sulfur okay now detection of halogen okay detection of halogen that is x x is chlorine or bromine or iodine for this, soda extract is taken and is mixed with the silver nitrate solution. This soda extract will have any X that is either NaCl or NaBr or Na. Okay, and to this silver nitrate solution is uh, added. If we get this is solution, if we get a white PPT white ppt then it is your chlorine if we obtain your white ppt then chlorine okay so reaction will be what we will have agcl white ppt and mano3 if we have a whitish yellow ppt then bromine if we have a whitish yellow ppt then bromine so reaction will be agbr will have whitish yellow ppt and a uh, will have NaNO3 okay and uh, if we have a yellow ppt pure yellow ppt then yellow ppt then it is iodine yellow ppt then it is iodine and here we have AGI, yellow, golden yellow, yellow, yellow and NA, NO, 
test does not stop here. This is the reaction I have given to you. Now there is further test. Here I rewrite this test for you. <clears throat> so we have obtained three tests. One is white PPT. Then it is your CL. One is whitish yellow PPT. Then it is BR. And the third is yellow PPT, golden yellow PPT, then it is your IOD. <laughs> Further we test it, we add to this white PPT ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide solution excess. Excess. Here also we do the same. Ammonium hydroxide solution axis. And here also we do the same. Ammonium hydroxide solution axis. Then what do we see when we add axis of ammonium hydroxide solution to white PPT? White PPT dissolves dissolves that is a uh, colorless solution is uh, obtained in this case this uh, ppt dissolves sparingly Spanningly means little bit PPT dissolves, not completely. So we don't get a clear solution. I'm not saying colorless solution, I'm saying clear solution. And in this case, PPT does not dissolve. Precipitate remains as it is. So this is test for your halogen. There is one more test for uh, sulfur in the end that is addition test for uh, sulfur when Na2S is there with uh, uh, this is from the saline solution and uh, you can use lead acetate instead of sodium nitroprusside you can use lead acetate also this test is also mentioned in some of the books. So this is also acceptable test. So we will have a PBS which is black PPT and we will have sodium acetate formed. So sulfur is tested by two, uh, any one of the two, either by this or the previous one which I told you that is sodium nitroprusside. So this was detection of element in organic compound, qualitative analysis. Then my next topic will be estimation of elements. Estimation of elements in organic compound. Estimation. Estimation of organic of elements in a or any compound that is quantitative analysis. So we have done quantitative and in the next class I will take quantitative analysis that is estimation of elements in organic compounds. So till then, bye.